What's up fellow hunters, Nox here, welcome to another video. Today we're gonna talk dual blades. 5 builds and more than 10 weapon options coming up. As always, don't get discouraged by my talismans if you don't have a similar one. I'll show some extra talismans for each build that will get you all the essential skills. Let's go! We're gonna kick things off with 3 elemental builds. Skyfall. A super customizable high damage build for dragon. Weapon of choice are the Valstrax dual blades. 330 attack. 55 dragon and massive white sharpness. The talisman examples on screen will get you all the essentials and even some room to customize things. To increase our damage we have attack boost level 4, dragon attack level 5, chain crit level 3 which is very effective on element dual blades, 90% affinity on weak spots thanks to weakness exploit and critical eye, along with maxed out critical boost to get the most out of our critical hits. And of course all of the element builds come with the new element exploit skill which adds another 10% to our elemental damage when attacking weak spots. As a bonus, we even have maxed out critical element here, which normally isn't worth going for. But this build is so flexible that we have extra room. And on top of that, we also get maxed out Wirebug Whisperer and Stun Resistance for some nice comfort. Cool thing is, you don't have to use any of these bonus skills. You can use these slots freely to customize the build however you like. We have all that without even augmenting the armor pieces. I will show some augment recommendations like this after each build. But keep in mind that they are exactly that, recommendations only. You can of course choose whatever you want. If you feel more comfortable using stamina management skills with dual blades, this is the perfect way to add some. Before we get further into the builds, we need to address a very common mistake I see all the time. Rampage decorations. The Elem Bane decoration is great for dual blades and their high element output. But keep in mind that Alum Bane requires you to hit very high elemental weak zones. If the monster you're fighting makes that difficult for you, there's a very high chance this decoration will not be worth it at times. Especially if you have to upgrade the Rampage slot first in order to use it. In those cases, you will be much better off just using an anti-species decoration. To get a constant damage boost that doesn't have any requirements. I personally find that the best way for dual blades is to have one option for Alum Bane and one without. That way you can quickly grab whatever fits the situation the best, without having to rearrange augments and decorations all the time. Now we have two element builds for multiple weapons. Twin Storm A and B. Cool thing is, if you make both, you have the perfect setup to use whatever element dual blades you personally like best. Twin Storm A is set up for all element dual blades that don't need any additional levels of handicraft. With Narwa and Kushala dual blades as example here. They have 300 attack with 72 thunder and 315 attack with 63 ice. Two very strong dual blades with phenomenal designs. We're gonna see a lot of similarities across the builds but also some very significant differences. Our big stack of damage increasing skills is the exact same as before. Super high affinity on weak spots plus critical boost, a flat damage increase from attack boost level 4 and element attack level 5, element exploit and chain crit to push things even further. I marked the element attack in green to highlight that you can make this whatever element you want. For sharpness management, we're using protective polish level 3 to keep our sharpness at purple for a full 90 seconds. If you like having speed sharpening with your protective polish, you can of course exchange it for the stun resistance at any time. The talisman examples from earlier will get you all the essentials here as well. Depending on the weapon, you won't lose anything at all. These are the augment recommendations. And of course, there are a bunch of other weapon options that will fit this build perfectly. These are some really good picks for it. As you can see, I didn't upgrade the level 2 rampage slot on some of the weapons. That's because I already have another weapon option for those elements with a level 3 rampage slot, which I can use as my Elum Bane option. Twinstorm B. It uses the exact same parts as the other twin build. But this one is set up to fit all dual blades that need 3 levels of handicraft to reach purple sharpness. I'm using the Almadron and Magma Almadron dual blades as example here. 305 attack, one with 71 water, the other with 73 fire. These are both deadly. Previously we would have just used these dual blades with white sharpness. But with the new augment system, things have changed. We want to push them into purple sharpness. It's not only cost effective now, but by far the stronger way to play these dual blades. The only thing we lose is some critical eye to make room for handicraft. Aside from that, the skill setup is basically the exact same. That means you don't have to worry about playing the twin builds differently. 
A talisman with weakness exploit level 2 and a level 2 slot will get you all the essential skills with only dropping one level of critical boost, which isn't bad at all. But other talismans will work as well of course. For the additional weapon options, we have another one for dragon and another one for ice. Both very good. With all the weapon options across the twin storm builds, you should have plenty of elemental dual blades to choose from now. Now we have an incredibly strong and fun to play paralysis build. Toxic Rain. The number of paralysis you can get with this build is absolutely disgusting. We're talking more than 10 paralysis in some cases here. Weapon of choice are the jelly dual blades. 305 attack, good white sharpness and 24 paralysis. For damage we have a very similar skill setup to the previous builds. Super high affinity on weak spots, critical boost, attack boost and chain crit. But the real star here is something completely different and that is of course status trigger which when active causes every single hit to apply status damage for the next 12 seconds. And with a weapon as fast as dual blades, the amount of paralysis we can dish out in that time is insane. To activate it, we need to evade attacks with a dodge or an evasive silkbind move. And with the build having evade window level 5, that becomes a piece of cake. On top of that, we also activate adrenaline rush, which gives us plus 15 attack for the next 30 seconds, which is a nice bonus. And whenever the monster is paralyzed, 4A kicks in as well, pushing our attack and affinity even higher. I don't find it necessary to add more paralysis attack at all, but if you like, you can increase it from 24 to 33. For sharpness management, we're using Master's Touch, which works beautifully with this build, especially if you're using Iron Shine Silk. This Silkbind move allows us to recover sharpness anytime we evade an attack, meaning it has perfect synergy with all the other things we have going on as well. You can go entire hunts without sharpening at all. Aside from that, we also have full stun resistance and Spirit Bird's Call for some extra comfort. You will have an absolute blast using this build. And your teammates will appreciate you stopping some of the more jumpy monsters that go all over the place 24-7. The same talisman examples we saw for some earlier builds will get you all the essentials here as well with minimal loss. These are the augment recommendations. The second weapon option here is actually something completely different. The Scorned Magnamalo Dual Blades. Very good stats and again, great design. They fit in super well and turn it into a highly explosive blast build. I initially called this the Detonator X and it was its own build. But it is the exact same build as the Toxic Rain aside from the differences that come with the weapon slots. If you like blasts going off, this one's for you. The Venomizer. A build that will leave any monster you fight poisoned almost the entire hunt. Weapon of choice are the Camellio Steel Blades. 320 attack, natural purple sharpness, 47 poison and a bunch of slots. We have the same base damage increasing skills as before. But we also have poison attack level 3 which pushes it from 47 to 61. Compared to the previous build we have less critical eye but an extra level of foray. And that really shines with poison. Poison is the only status that can still be built up while the monster is already poisoned. And since we have status trigger with evade window level 5 again, monsters will be poisoned 24-7. Which gives us huge uptime on the foray skill. About 80% of the time, which is massive. Outside of that, we went back to protective polish for sharpness management. And we have some park breaker as a bonus. This build is a great choice if you're jumping into any random anomaly investigations. Some of the previous talisman examples will get you all the essentials here as well with minimal loss. Augment recommendations are whatever you like. Wirebug Whisperer was my first pick here. Our second weapon option for this one actually surprised me a bit. The Machina Dual Blades. I thought these were gonna be kind of a meme at first. But if you can manage to play them aggressively with status trigger, they do surprisingly well. Not to mention, they look absolutely phenomenal. There are plenty of build videos on the channel if you want to check out some more. Until next time, thanks for watching and take it easy.